You drove here? Yeah. You drove a car? Why is that so hard to believe? And what is that? Um, the floor is called. There's been a slight problem. No, don't give me any bad news. Well, the order of Casablanca lilies arrived and some were damaged. So she wants to give you these instead. What? She told me that no one will be able to tell the difference. Yeah, but I'll know. You're right. I'll get on the phone right now and call every florist in the city. This can't be happening. Tomorrow's my wedding. Mrs. Gianni, everything's going to be fine. Just let me make a few phone calls. Hello, Lexi. Hi. How's my gorgeous bride? William. I got you a little something for your wedding jitters. Oh. Oh, another croissant. I swear you're trying to fat me up for the slaughter. Don't be ridiculous. You haven't seen the dress that Harold and Hans are trying to squeeze me into. Well, I'm sure you're going to look spectacular. I think you miss me. <sighs> you have no idea. Okay. I talked to the florist. He said he's going to take care of everything. Lexi, how could I survive without you? I'm glad you're coming to the groom's dinner. I am? Of course. Um, Luke will be there. Won't that be awkward? Oh, my God. Michelle. Lexi? Michelle. What's wrong? What the hell is going on? What are you doing here? Don't be silly. You're my right-hand girl. If you say so. I hope you don't mind if Luke takes me to the rehearsal. Why would I mind? It's just that this is a really big change for him, and it'll give us time to talk. You don't have to explain anything to me. We have the rest of our lives to spend together. Okay, honey, let's get ready for school. Are you coming over every morning? Alec, don't be rude. I was just asking, Mama. Well, have fun at school, right? All right, let's get your backpack and don't forget to say goodbye. Bye. Be right back. Ah, he's protective. Comes with the territory. It's just, you know, I'm all he has, besides my mother. Yeah, where's his dad? You don't invite me in? No. You know how I feel about you being around Alec. You should know his father. Eddie, we've been over this. Your lifestyle is... It's the only thing that's keeping food on your table. Remember that. <sighs> he's dead. All right, let's go. Look, you told me that you loved me before I left. I do. Jumping into a bed with the woman the moment I leave town is such a romantic gesture. Michelle, I didn't think... Stop. We both know what happened. No, you don't. See, I should have listened. They warned me about you. What? What are you talking about? They tell me you're a player. That's ridiculous. Is it? Yes. Your mother doesn't seem to think so. Michelle, I stopped being that guy a long time ago. I've always been honest with you. Always. You know what, Luke? I'm really tired, and I have a lot of work to do. So can you do me a favor and leave? That's what you want. Yeah, can you at least respect that? Then I'll go. Bye. But I do love you. Hey, you're not going to work today? No, I called in sick. Baby, are you okay? No, I'm cursed. No, you're not. 
What are you watching? Some romantic miniseries. <gasps> Turn it off. No, it's good. You're only gonna make yourself more depressed. It's a love story. Exactly. I miss him. I know you do. I'm such an idiot. No, you're not. Listen, have you tried talking to him? No, I don't trust myself. Look at me, I was married, oblivious for like six years. <laughs> don't laugh at me. I'm not, I just... Michelle, Luke is nothing like Lance. I caught him red-handed. At least Lance only had pictures. I can usually smell a creep from a mile away. And not once did I feel a bad vibe with Luke. Not ever. Well, maybe you're losing your touch. <laughs> maybe. But... No buts. There's nothing to say. Luke Gianni is a walking, talking lie. Mr. Miller, thank you for joining us. Gloria, you look lovely as always. Mr. Miller. Call me Lance, it's fine. Lance, can I offer you a drink? You know, I'm all right, but thanks. You come highly recommended by our mutual acquaintance. I'm looking for a new accountant. Gloria tells me you're very good at what you do. I am. Has she told you the nature of my business? Eddie, I, I thought it'd be best if you explained everything to him. Lance, I own several gas stations. Mr. Zerovian, my firm has handled the books at many gas stations before. Yeah, well, you know, my business might be a little different from what you're accustomed to. You see, I steal credit card numbers and launder large amounts of cash through my gas station. I'm a bit confused. Yeah, well, let me explain. When you use your credit card at my gas station, I steal the number and I sell it to the highest bidder. And lately, my business has become more lucrative than ever. I'm looking for an accountant who can find creative ways to launder my cash. Yeah. Uh... I think Gloria's made a mistake here. I was under the impression that you had a legitimate business. I don't think I'm your guy. I don't just divulge information about my business to anyone. As far as I'm concerned, you agreed to work for me the minute you walked through that door. Some sketches Michelle drew for the charity event. Ooh, hope I don't have to wear that. <laughs> if you're lucky enough. Oh, please. So, uh, have you recovered yet? <sighs> recovered? Yeah, from losing the Garnier Fructis campaign to me. What are you doing here? Oh, you're not still mad, are you? Hardly. <laughs> well, I know it must be difficult for you. And why would it be difficult? We well, you know your 15 minutes are up. You're pathetic. You know, they use me for a lot of fittings here. You know why? Because I'm perfectly proportioned. <gasps> Good for you. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for Harold and Hans. For what? We're going to the groom's dinner. Are you ready to see a grown woman cry? Okay, please make sure I'm good and drunk before Maria does the slideshow <laughs> of Luke's childhood. Seriously. Oh, well. You going to the groom's dinner? Aren't you? I just didn't receive my invitation. You know, I'm sure it was an oversight. You know how these things happen. Yeah, well, I'm gonna be at the wedding. It's not like anyone cares about a stupid dinner anyway. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. 
Have fun stuffing your face. It's not like anyone's gonna care if you add another pound or two. Whoops. Uh, awkward. She's lost it. <laughs> Completely. Let's go. That's Jet. <laughs>